Welcome to Roger Belch Ghostly Stories. Pull up a chair next to the campfire and be prepared to be scared by ghosts, legends, and ghouls. All on Ghostly Stories. <laughs> Victim's Ghost on Ghostly Stories, brought to you by Half Past Dead Paranormal Radio. When hospital orderly Alan Showery was called in for questioning by Chicago police in 1977, he knew what it was about, or rather whom it was about. Terezetta Bassa had also worked at Edgewater Hospital and early in 1976 Showery had gone to her apartment and stabbed her to death before setting her on fire. He was hoping the police didn't know anything. They knew everything. Terzetta, the woman he murdered, had told them. Earlier in 1977, respiratory technician Rima Chu, who had worked with Terzetta but not known her well, saw the dead woman loitering about the hospital employees' lounge. Soon thereafter, a distinct change came over Remy. She started seeing, displaying strange mannerisms and following routines that were not her own. She became distant, sometimes seeming to almost be in a trance. She would sing songs she didn't know, then deny singing them, or even saying anything. The strange events grew worse until one day Remy fell back on her bed and spoke to her family in Terrazetta's voice. Remy's husband, Joe, was a doctor and Terrazetta mainly addressed him, begging him to go to the police and she had plenty of information. She named Jowry and had Joe write down various items he had stolen from her apartment and the names and phone numbers of relatives who could confirm that the items were hers. Although police were understandably skeptical, they brought Showery in and watched his alibi crumble as Terrazetta's relatives pointed out her valuables, which police had indeed found in Showery's home. He subsequently confessed and was convicted of her murder. Remy Chu has never had another such experience despite the accuracy of her information and the case's appearance on Unsolved Mysteries in 19, 1996. No one has ever been able to explain how it happened or why it happened to her. I hope you all enjoyed this actual true story. And let's hope that uh, if something like that ever happens to us, we can speak through somebody else and and get the, the person that did it to confess. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with another ghostly story.